All right, guys, welcome back to Drake on Digital. Today, we're going to talk about Berry Data. What is Berry Data? Well, we're going to go over it. So basically, it is a Oracle that was, is on the Binance Smart Chain. But first off, guys, if you guys are jumping into this channel or jumping onto this video, you just saw a random video. What we talk about is cryptocurrencies, different altcoin projects, basically how to make it in the game. We even talk about airdrops and throwing maybe here's so little little things and sometimes we do crypto giveaways um by the way once we hit 5,000 subs uh, i am going to be giving away 150 dollars worth of ETH. so we'll see what happens guys hopefully when when the eth is given away well not hopefully but maybe the eth will be worth uh, a lower amount and then maybe you guys can double triple your money who knows what happens uh but anyways not a financial advisor just my opinion on the project this is just the information i see i'm giving to you um but let's go ahead and get into it Barry data a decentralized Oracle network on Binance Smart Chain, or BSE. Well, man, thanks thanks for reading that for me. No problem, bro. Uh, so about Barry Data. So really, this is the first uh, Oracle that is on Binance Smart Chain. So it's they compare it to Chainlink. This one is not mainnet, though. So do keep that in mind. It's a little bit concerning. Uh, they do have a competitor that's coming on, and it's called Ori or Aura Chain. Um, it's like a same, same similar setup. Um, let me see if I can show you guys their main website. If you refresh the page, it'll show you that they're going mainnet in about three days. So three days they're going to be going mainnet. They used to be on Ethereum, but they are going on to um, Binance Smart Chain. Uh, the concerning thing I have about Aura Chain, um, I'm going to go over it as well so you guys can see. Well, this is the first thing. Aura Chain and, Bi uh, and it talks about the DEX listing. Uh, no, it's this article, a trading competition. So basically it's a competition that encourages people to, well, I'll read it to you. The top 10 accounts with the highest trading amounts of Ori or Aura chain. I mean, it sounds like, uh, I mean, the, I'm no offense to the guy, uh, Chung Dao, he's obviously Chinese and, uh, Binance smart chain is Chinese. So it's kind of like they're artificially inflating this chain to try to beat out Ethereum. And that's not organic. Just like when you pay for people to subscribe to your channel, it's not sustainable. You don't do that. Um, it's it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's, it's something seems a little fishy with Binance. I, I'm not saying anything against Binance. I love Binance. Binance Smart Chain is, is great, but I don't like how it's so centralized and everyone's throwing all their money. I mean, who knows? What if they're pulling the rug pull of the century? Keep that in mind, guys. Anyways, that's that's just my two cents. Uh, it's not saying I'm right or wrong. It's just saying, hey, this is what it is. So first, let's go ahead and explain Berry Data. Um, Berry Data, uh, they have miners, data users, uh, data feeds. Uh, they have a rewarding system. So same exact concept as Chainlink, nothing crazy. Uh, in my opinion, it's probably just like a cop, well, not even a copy and paste. Um, it's probably something even more simple than Chainlink. Uh, but still, Chainlink, still very bullish on it, um, but there are other solutions. So they even have like a feature, uh, wrong data can be disputed and whatnot. So it, it's really interesting. And I'm sure when you, um, instead of just holding Barry, you probably have to um, pay tokens to say, hey, look, I'm disputing this and I'm throwing out my stake. If I'm wrong, I can lose it type of thing. Um, I, I don't know what the details are. They, it's still, this is really just a uh, website of promise and maybe barely even a LinkedIn page. Uh, they have one LinkedIn page on one of the founders or one of the, um, uh, one of the people who are, uh, I think she's the programmer. I, I can't even remember. What is it? Yeah, it just says Barry Data full time. There's really not much information on this. So zero, zero followers, I mean, it's kind of like, okay, um, it's weird. There's nothing out there. Um, she says she works for KuCoin. I mean, I can believe that, but still it's like not really much out there. And that's the only thing they have. Um, you can read in their white paper. They have the team. I can't find anything on John Wu. Uh, that was on Mandy NG and I don't even know who Dr. Tom Howe is. Uh, they say John Wu uh, worked for a community co-contributor for Cosmos. I mean, surely you'd have at least a LinkedIn page. Just my opinion, though. Um, and he worked for JD. I mean, it's kind of like, okay, well, where's your LinkedIn page? I mean, everyone's got a LinkedIn page. I don't even have a Facebook, and I have a LinkedIn page. Don't even use it, but I still have a LinkedIn page. So uh, here on the white paper, they have an introduction. 
basically it, it's going to explain in the white paper that blockchains need to be able to communicate with the real, real world and yeah they do so um, basically buried data is just an oracle that's it on the binance smart chain that's all you need to know they explain how this works similar to Chainlink. so if you guys haven't watched my chain link video go ahead and watch the chain link video we're kind of just uh, talking about the different details on this so this is the roadmap Q3, basically uh, project setup, um, complete creating a team with professional and experienced talents, complete white paper. So this white paper is really, I could have done it. I mean, I'm not even tech savvy at all or good at writing stuff, but it's super easy. It's just like, what, what the pants? Um, oh, I forgot to go over the tokenomics on um, OraChain just so you guys can see it. Here's the tokenomics. This is why I'm bearish on uh, OraChain. You can see the team, advisors, and the foundation. Uh, they all, it's about 50% of the supply. So that's, and the private, well, private sales not even in there. They actually burn the tokens. So it's kind of like, well, I don't know, man. I don't like that, but that's just me. So going back to the roadmap, um, launched their test net, and now they're launching mainnet Q1 2021. Could be a um, buy the rumor, uh, sell the news type of thing, but we'll see what happens. They are going to be working on getting partnerships. I don't know. Time's going to tell on this. I mean, I have two different uh, feelings on it, and I'm explaining to you guys all my feelings on it. So you guys take with it what you guys want. Um, it's my opinion is not right or wrong. It's just my opinion. Everyone's so it, it's like this. <laughs> Everyone's got a butt, just like an opinion, and they all stink. <laughs> So, I mean, that's how you can explain the concept, but I'm just giving you guys this information so you guys can do your own research. Please, DYO or DYOR, don't take someone's word for something. Go ahead and look into it. That's why I'm breaking it down and showing you what I see. So this is how you can use Barry. This is explaining um, how you can use it. So I'm sure you can add a tip in order to process the transactions faster. I mean, Binance Smart Chain is not really gonna make much of a difference. And the mining, uh, let me show you how on their website actually literally hit mining and it's just mainly a matter of staking that's it a uh, very simple concept it's just like pancake swap or um, on goose finance any of those so yeah uh, here's their current data feeds uh, they're gonna be doing ETH USDC B BTC and so on and the reason why this is important is let me show you Barry data so Barry data right now um, 2893 um, but if you go on to uh, pancake swap it's got 2775 2864 and then 1507 so it's kind of like that's, that's weird so that's how coin gecko gets the average of prices so it'd be nice to have um, oracles I, I mean obviously all those are on pancake swap but for something like um, cake tokens so if they had an oracle for the feeds that would be very interesting so for example you see cake 16 bucks 15 bucks um, 15, 16, you see there's so many different prices, a buck 58, 11.94, they're all over the place. Obviously there's no volume on these, but with an Oracle that could help with it. So another option for the Oracle could be like, hey, if this APY is getting down to 600%, let's automatically feed it to our website so we can have that. I mean, there's just different things. That's just what an Oracle is for. Or even real world data, if you wanna have a prediction market on Binance Smart Chain, that'd be interesting. I mean, they have um, Augur on Ethereum. How interesting would it be to have a prediction market on Binance Smart Chain? If you guys hear about one, leave it in the comments below, let me know. Uh, I'm looking for one of those, that would be really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that's buried data in a nutshell. Um, yeah, I really couldn't find much on the LinkedIn. So, and this was another thing on the Twitter page. On the Twitter page, it mainly, it, it's not shoddy, but they, they are uh, posting a lot on the Twitter page, obviously, to show that they're somewhat active, and I, I believe that's why they're doing it. But anyways, um, so you guys can see they're kind of just uh, popping different things onto their uh, Twitter page. Not, not anything crazy. But yeah, they're doing what they do. So I don't like this about it though. They, they all they talk about is to the moon, um, add more berry to it. Uh, we're gonna talk about Ivan on tech. So it's kind of like they're shilling a coin and saying, hey, let's pump, 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 pump. But I don't know. Um, that's just what I see on it. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. 
and this is from CZ Binance Smart Chain. So it's kind of like CZ is trying to grow all of these, um, all of these uh, cryptos on their chain. I don't know if he's trying to. Well, I don't. Know. That's just a theory I have or um, a rumor. Could be, I, I don't know. Another thing I actually do like about the project is the token distribution. 55% uh, going to mining, um, 23 to ecosystem, 7% for initial investing campaign, 16% will be locked for two years and will be released every quarter. So um, very interesting for 16% um of the 23 percent ecosystem fund will be released every quarter for two years so that's that's good for a pump and dump type of thing it'll um prevent that uh so that's definitely a good thing and then the initial farm offering will be sold on pancake swap so that's already been done if you missed out on that and only six percent for the team i kind of like that um i, I do like that I'll, I'll give them that much. also here's another thing on the tokenomics i don't know why it does that but 79 million dollar market cap so way lower than chain link and a 12.5 million max supply also very interesting i do like that um, you guys take it how you want uh this berry data in a nutshell i'm gonna leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner harvest chapter 29 verses 7 i believe yeah the righteous care about justice for the poor but the wicked have no such concern amen to that i believe it all right guys thanks for tuning in see you all right guys thanks for watching and without you guys watching i wouldn't keep doing these videos but i'm hoping i'm helping you guys if i am smash that like button um, go ahead and get started with the triple threat go ahead and start with the celsius account here's a referral link where you guys can earn twenty dollars in btc really awesome set up a celsius account easy to use and you get crazy interest rates on your celsius account bitcoin litecoin ethereum you name it the next one in the triple threat is a crypto.com account super easy to use super easy to set up really easy to buy and sell on it i don't like how it doesn't have limit orders but really easy to use and here's another referral code for 25 bucks and cro um, here's the referral link a8gp you guys can read it but anyways guys a cool place to buy cryptocurrency on the go allows you to buy small altcoins um, unlike celsius celsius is more so like your bank account and the third one this one is a fun one uh, voyager this one is more so where you can buy with limit orders it doesn't have as many altcoins as crypto.com but it's really easy to use easy to set up and yes this one does come with a referral link as well and you'll get 25 dollars in btc um, this is how you can do a limit order super easy to use and they don't charge any trading fees whatsoever here's the referral link you can't copy and paste it but you can look in the description to copy and paste and you can put that in and set one up 25 bucks free btc this is the funnest one though lolly free there is a referral link to this one too i've actually won 100,000 sats one time on one of the uh, taps which is worth like 100 bucks in bitcoin so it's crazy um, look, and there's even proof in the wallet. Look at that, daily stack, 101. Guys, set one up, it's really easy to do. Download a Lolly account and just set it up. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way you guys can be ahead of the game every time we make a new video.